r slash ask reddit girls what inappropriate questions about guys have you always wanted answered can you swing your dong around while pissing to look like a water sprinkler only in situations where we very urgently need to establish dominance how many people do you personally know that you would be super down to sleep with that limit does not exist not a guy but an ex-boyfriend once explained it to me as women have a short list of men they'll sleep with men have a short list of women they won't sleep with this thread pretty much confirms that what he said is true for many men how often do you masturbate to friends co-workers classmates and then when you are with them do you act as if nothing happened or is it awkward if it is awkward and comfortable for you how do you hide the awkwardness pretend nothing ever happened if you have a summer album on Facebook, at least a few of your male friends have put it to good use. This guy knows the deal. This guy knows that guy knows the deal. Morning wood. Sex or no sex. Edit. I think this might be worthy of a pie chart that I may or may not do. But out of the two slices I want the pie that says yes sex. But it is mostly dependent on the P factor for the answers I've gotten. With a couple variances. TBH I never even thought about needing to pee might be an issue in the am. I wish I could be woken up every day to this. I would say no sex. Because it is often accompanied by a full bladder. But let us pee and then it's free real estate. How would you feel if someone just assumed you were gay? Maybe because you take pride in your appearance and it was misconstrued as homosexual? Well, I wear pink. I like musicals. I pick out coordinating clothes that fit well. I like to design things. And I tend to be able to converse more easily with women than men at social gatherings. So I totally understand if someone made that assumption. You just described my entire high school experience. I grew up in a small country town where everyone went hunting and fishing and would come to school in muddy boots and coveralls. I was from up north and wore what I considered normal well fitted clothing. I also didn't date anyone in high school in spite of being asked out frequently because I considered the girls at my school to not be people I would want a relationship with. I was constantly asked my sexual preference because of this. I had one girl walk up to me and quite literally say, hey, so like, you're hot but you won't date anyone. Are you gay? No Brittany I'm not gay. I'm just not horny enough to jump on anything with a pulse. When you first meet a girl do you instantly decide if you want to sleep with her or not? And if yes, do you always ever want to sleep with that girl or do you eventually get over it? It's not a tangible thought like that, but I think generally most guys can know the first time they meet someone whether they're interested or not. And I say interested because it's not like there's only a friend light or a duck light that blinks. Guys can have nuanced relationships with girls, just like girls can with guys. Or anyone with anyone for that matter. Late to the party. But I have a couple. How do you feel about kissing after she gives you a head? Some guys are disgusted by this idea. How long does it take you to reload before you're ready for another round of sex oral handy? When it comes to sex and foreplay. Do you prefer more of just get to the point? Girl or take all the time to feel and touch me all around approach? I don't mind it at all. I do find myself thinking about the fact for a moment. But kissing is just as important and great as any other part of seximo. So go ahead lol. Never had the chance but I'd assume 5 minutes. From my up. Practice sessions. I love both approaches but I wouldn't like it if it was straight to the point and then over like that. Mine has to do with whacking. How many times have you at work? How many times about co-workers you know? What's the one thing you did it to that you don't talk about? I'll answer. I think two or three times. Over the course of four years. Never about a co-worker. I watched a chick get ducked by a huge green dragon's clong that a man had stuck through the fly of his jeans. That was interesting. Why don't you run around naked? I mean I do at home. It tends to get a bit arresty elsewhere though. Because there are laws that prevent it. Clothes suck though. But they are nice at preventing sun exposure and being mauled by the mosquito horde. Do you moan in a feminine like matter during sex or is it just mostly manly like grunts? I signal in semaphore. Rapidly fan smoke signal. How do you really feel about small tits? Just being proportional is the biggest thing I think. I prefer skinny petite girls and smaller boobs are part of that. I'm pretty much always against implants as well unless it's reconstructive or something. 
Fakes tits to me are just fake. They're actively less attractive than small ones. It's more about the shape to me. If you're a small girl, I honestly think small tits are really hot. How do you feel about your penis size? I am a grower, so unless I already have at least a partial chub, I am very self-conscious about it. However, once I am fully erect, I have zero issues with it. I am very happy with the size at that point. I'm not unhappy about it. Used to be self-conscious when I was a teen because it wasn't 12 inches long. But now I know it doesn't really matter. When you send dong pics, do you generally take a new pic every time? Or have a store you fish out from? Fresh pics always. Don't want that sitting in your album. Is pee stored in the balls or what? Yes, pee is stored in the left ball and cum is stored in the right one. Poop is actually stored in the bladder. I just graduated with my masters in biology so I know. Finally an educated gentleman. Do you ever check out other guys and go I tap that? Also have you ever helicoptered your dong? No but I do look at guys and think I wish I looked like that. On a scale of 1 to I feel like I'm going into labor. How bad does it really hurt to get hit in the balls? Depending on how hard you are hit, it hurts a ton. If it's a tap or poke straight on, it's fairly painful but can be shaken off quickly. If they are sandwiched in a crushing motion between your pelvis and another object, foot, fist, baseball, etc. It is another story. It overrides a lot of senses and some guys feel nauseous me included. My sister used to use that to win fights when we were growing up. Totally unfair. Even seeing another man getting his nads crushed can nauseate some people. One guy I knew fainted in middle school. He was sitting with his legs spread on the floor when another student slid a chair with metal legs straight into his crotch. This was also around the time jackass was popular. So I have no idea if it was on purpose or accident, but I always thought it was the former. Edit. So my most upvoted comment is about nads getting crushed and causing people to feel nauseated. Oh, thanks. Haha. <laughs> I've never been nutted extremely hard. Getting a decent whack creates a really bad gut pain. Maybe on the level of the worst food poisoning you've ever had. The sting is brief but then there's chronic pain. Like after just diarying for an hour. I really don't think it compares to going into labor. And I think hemorrhoids are a much worse pain. Maybe not the NSFW answer op was looking for but why do some men get upset when ladies do masculine things or tasks? I was super close to my dad growing up and asked so many questions and was taught so many things that I can pretty much handle myself. Yet I have had male friends and even boyfriends who get short with me for changing my own tires. Cost stuff in general. I've gotten side-eyed because I have my own grill. Apparently liking to cook on an open flame is a male only thing. I even had one boyfriend get pissy with me because I conceal carry. Apparently it's a man's job to protect a woman. Um no. While I'd like to say it's not all men there's always something that defaults them to let me do that. I'm a guy. Please just tell me why you are doing this. Pride is basically the answer. We're proud to be the man in the whole thing. Go to keep up that reputation by wanting to do the supposedly manly things etc. Why do so many guys get upset or put off if I tell them how I'd like to be pleasured? Men have no problem directing me, but get huffy when I tell them to do something differently or change the angle. Surely men don't expect each woman to be the same? I know each guy I've slept with has had varied preferences and likes dislikes, although probably more overlap amongst men's preferences than women's. So why do men seem to think they will automatically know how to pleasure me? Can't speak from personal experience I always find it a massive help being told what to do. But probably some men feel embarrassed or potentially feel a bit inferior like they're doing wrong. Or pricks it could be that too. Can you really just be friends with a girl you are attracted to? Not easy but yes. If you are straight and you hooked up with a girl, and you later found out she was post-op trans, how upset would you be? I'm always gonna be open I think. But I wonder how much would it upset guys for just a hookup. 100% bothered and honestly pretty angry. I support the LGBT plus community wholeheartedly. But I think you would be within your rights to be upset. You are sharing your body with them. You are entitled to know this fact about the person you are sharing it with. Why don't I see a lot of guys hug each other more often? Like a nice bay hug. For no reason. 
Some of your friends are probably great huggers and you'd never know. I think hugs are pretty personal. I have no problem hugging my friends and nor do they. But I will only hug guys that I have known for a long time. And are friends with. What makes a chick riding your face so damn attractive? Every guy I know loves it but I am super self conscious now that my bod is not the size 2 it once was. I'm wondering if I'm overthinking it. You are overthinking it. We know what we like. If we didn't like it, we wouldn't encourage it. What is your preferred method of finishing head? When you're the receiver, I almost always let the guy finish in my mouth. Mainly BC I never get warned when it's go time. And then after the fact like, slowly pull my head up, is that uncomfortable? Am I doing something wrong? Also, when giving head I have never made eye contact. I basically just take it and go. I'm awkward. I don't know how to be sultry. I am generally considered cute. Frustrating for a girl who is 5 feet 9. I have big eyes. I feel like it would look like I'm panicking or scared or just freaky lol. Basically, how do I give better head? I've never had any complaints. Then again I feel like as long as a dude is sitting back getting his sklong sucked what is there really to complain about? Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bre